Welcome to this chest workout. We are starting off with up and front punches. Once you get your rhythm with your arms and your core is tight, you can add in your legs. Very good. This chest workout is great if you are small chested like me and you just want to appear to have a little bit more than is actually there. It's also great if you are more large chested and you just need something to tone you up and perk you up just a little bit. Keep going. Next for the warm up, we're going to do some big arm circles. Keep your feet kind of wide, keep your core sucked in and just pretend you're trying to swim in the air. Yes, there you go. Switch arms, switch directions, and do the same thing going forward. Good, good. You should be feeling warm in your shoulders. Your heart rate should be going up just a little bit. It's good. Next, we're going to do chest openers. You're going to just pretend you are pulling your shoulder blades together in the back. Remember to keep your core tight and add in your legs if you are comfortable. Keep going. This is really good to get those chest muscles warmed up. Make sure you're thinking about your chest muscles as you're doing this. That will help you get the best results. Very good. Finally, for the warm up, we are going to do some cross body snatches. You are snatching stuff from left to right, snatching things all over the place. Keep your core tight and add in your legs if you are comfortable doing so. You look good, keep going. Just a few more seconds. Perfect work, let's get into the actual workout. We are starting off with chest flies. You are laying on your back, lower back is on the floor, and you are going to basically clap your hands together in a slow controlled motion you can do the version on the right if you have dumbbells i will be doing the version without dumbbells let's get into it really squeeze your chest at the top and control your hand motion. You would be surprised by how intense this can get if you really focus on your chest muscles. We can change anything and make it better together now. We'll Keep going. I obviously need to do this workout more. Can we just agree on that? Can we touch and agree on that? <laughs> Good job. Next, we're going to do a chest press. You're going to stay in that same position, but instead of clapping your hands wide like we did before, you are pushing up toward the ceiling. If you have dumbbells, you can do the version on the right. I will be doing the version on the left. Good job. Really squeeze your chest muscles at the top. Make sure your lower back stays on the mat at all times and your chest is doing all the work. Slow and controlled. Good. I know this could be a little bit uncomfortable if you are more larger chested, but this is a shorter workout, but if you're feeling uncomfortable, just do something different, okay? I want you to be safe. Good job. Next, we're going to do shoulder taps. You're going to get into a plank position and gently just tap your shoulders as if you're telling yourself, I got this. You ready? Let's do it. Remember your core needs to stay stay tight to protect your back and to also keep you stable. So just gently tap, tap, tap. Yes. Yeah. 
Make sure you're thinking about those boobies. Be thinking about your chest muscles as you're doing this. That will help you make that mental connection that really helps your body get results. I know it sounds a bit frou-frou, but it actually works. Keep going. You're doing good. Ah, hang in there. Perfect work. Finally, we are doing half push-ups. You're going to get on that same plank position, but your knees are on the floor, and you're going to try to get your chest as close to your mat as you can. I know this can be challenging, but I believe you can do it. The truth will break your chains. We have the key. Open your eyes and see. If you need to take a break in the middle of this round of push-ups, that is okay. Just take that break and get back into it because after this, you get a real break, one whole minute to rest. You're looking good, hang in there. You got this, you, you're doing this, you can do this. I see you. Very good. We're going to take a break for a full minute, grab some water, rest up, <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Check the description box for free stuff because I always have freebies in there for you. And I'll be back to complete this workout with you after the break. I'm here for you. Welcome back. We are starting off with those chest flies again, lower back on the floor, your knees are slightly bent, and you are opening your arms wide and squeezing them as you bring them to close at the top. If you have dumbbells, you can do the version on the right. I will be doing the version on the left. Let's get into it. Really focus, focus on that chest and squeeze at the top. Yes, you're getting it. Good job. This is a really good workout to combine with any of the other lower body workouts that I have on my channel. That way you get more out of your exercise day and you work your whole body, you know, getting you to that 10 over 10. <laughs> Keep going. Good job. We are the ones who know the answers, Next, we're going into those chest presses again. You're staying in that same position, but this time you are pressing to the ceiling and you're only opening up through your elbows. If you have weights, you can do the version on the right. I will be doing the version on the left. Your elbows should be around the same level as your shoulders. That will help you get really good form with this. But don't sweat it. You're working out and that is all that matters. Stay safe and do your best. That's all you have to do. And you're doing good. Keep going. You're doing good, almost there. We have two more exercises and you are done with this workout. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? You got this, keep going. Next, we're doing those shoulder taps again. You're going to plank position. You're keeping your core tight and you are gently tapping your shoulders. Everything you're fighting for. 
You're doing good. Keep going. Take a break if you need to, but get right back into it. After this, one more move and we're done. You are almost at the end. Keep going. Last move, the half push-up. You can do this. You're going to go into that plank position, but your knees are on the mat, and you are bringing your chest as close to the floor as you can, and really squeezing your chest muscles to go back up. Anything. You ready? Let's do it. I'm doing it with you. Y you can do this. Yes. Good job. Give it your all. It's your last move. Last move of the day. You're doing it. You're doing it. You are doing it. You got this. You can pause, but keep going. Ten seconds. You got it. You keep going. You did it. You did this whole workout. You are amazing. You worked out today. Thank you for working out with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in my next workout video. Also, check the description box for freebies. Right away,